Thank you for considering the Elliott Flex Seeder System for your planter. The Flex Seeder System is a rugged and reliable, high performance drive system designed to replace your train and sprockets for precision seed placement. Capable of fitting on a variety of seeder platforms, the Elliott Flex Seeder allows aftermarket professionals and farmers the ability to upgrade their outdated planting systems with a state of the art drive technology at a fraction of the cost of updating to new equipment. This eliminates chain and sprocket drives with an individual on-off road control option for precision farming, maintenance-free operations, and substantial seed savings and higher harvest yields. This video is intended to show you how easy the retrofit process to replace your chain and sprockets with the Flex Seeder system is. And we will also give you a little bit more information on the system and compatibility with other planters. The Flex Seeder system has been designed and tested to fit a wide variety of planter models and makes, as well as the associated seed meters with those planters. Currently, we are compatible with the John Deere 7000 series, the John Deere 7100 series, the John Deere 7200 series, the John Deere 7300 series, the John Deere 1700 series, and the Kinsey 3000 series. The Flex Seeder system consists of two gearboxes, a flexible drive shaft, an inline clutch, and the associated hardware necessary to mount the Flex Seeder system to your planter. The gearboxes come in multiple ratios to match your existing manufacturer drive transmission ratios. This allows for an easy retrofit without having to change the drive transmission ratios the majority of the time. The on-off clutch is integrated in line with the flexible shaft and gearboxes for easy installation. The clutch is a wrap spring style clutch that is non-indexed with a 30 millisecond reaction time, allowing for consistent and immediate control of your planter. The clutch comes fitted with a standard two pin weather pack connector for compatibility with the majority of GPS monitors and controllers. As you can see in the video, custom brackets and hardware have been designed to mount the Flex Seeder system onto your planter. The hex bar end is consistent across all three models and will not change. On the other hand, unique seed meter drive fixtures and brackets have been created to accommodate the different models and different seed meters required. The system shown in the video is intended to go on a John Deere 1700 series planter with a butterfly engagement seed meter driver. The video is demonstrating the mounting of the bracketry and hardware to the Flex Seeder system in preparation of mounting to the planter. It is suggested to complete this in a clean workshop environment prior to beginning your retrofit on your planter. Step-by-step -step written instructions on how to install the Flex Seeder system are available online at flexseeder.com or from your local Flex Seeder dealer. After mounting all the required hardware and bracketry to the gearboxes, it is suggested to reinsert the shaft into the gearboxes in order to avoid any contamination entering the system during transportation. In order to prepare your planter to mount the Flex Seeder system, you must remove the seed meters, the hoppers, the hex bar, the chains and sprockets, the chain idler, and any existing manufacturer seed meter brackets. This will allow for an easy, fast installation of the Flex Seeder system. You will no longer need to maintain these chains and sprockets to drive your seed meters on your planter with the Flex Seeder system. It is suggested to start with the hex bar end of the Flex Seeder system first during installation. It is much easier if the shaft and other gearboxes are removed from this end during installation. The bolt pattern on the hex bar bracket should line up directly with the existing two bolt pattern on your planter. It is suggested to use a support bearing in line with this gearbox in order to offset any side load issues you might have with your hex bar. 
As you can see in the video, multiple spacers have been provided with the flex seater system. These spacers have been provided so that you can mount your flex seater system in a manner that they will not interfere with any of your existing downforce options. These spacers can be mounted on either the inside or the outside of the back plate to do so. That being said, the system was designed to be compatible with the majority of downforce options available in the market, but we cannot guarantee that it is compatible with all downforce options. Please consult the installation instructions on flexseater.com or your local dealer to verify compatibility of your downforce option and make model with the flex seater system. Leaving the hex bar gearbox slightly loose during installation at this point will allow for easier hex bar insertion later in the process. Just like the hex bar bracket, the seed meter bracket should mount up to the existing bolt pattern in your planter. Depending on whether you have a mechanical or a vacuum seed meter, you may mount the bracket in different positions. Again, please consult the installation instructions to verify this position. Bracketry and components have been designed so that you will have good engagement with your seed meter when reinstalling. After installation of the complete system, confirm that the engagement of the driver and seed meter is in line and consistent across all rows. After the seed meter bracket is installed, you may reinsert the shaft into the hex bar gearbox, twist and lock, and the system is installed. Thank you for considering the Flex Seater system and watching this video. Visit flexseater.com for more information.